If you want to grow your YouTube channel, understanding the YouTube algorithm in 2020 is going to be absolutely crucial in order for you to get more subscribers, more views, have the best impact and ultimately grow your YouTube channel to where you want it to be. The YouTube algorithm is something that no one knows 100% but there are so many different factors that we can control and I'm going to talk to you about those in this video today. So for those of you that haven't hit that subscribe button and the bell identification icon, make sure you do that right now because I come out with videos three times a week that are ultimately going to help you grow your YouTube channel and that way you don't miss out on any of the good stuff. So like I said, in this video today, we're going to be talking about understanding the YouTube algorithm and what that, what some of the things the algorithm looks at when it concentrates on whether or not to promote or push your YouTube channel. And one of the best ways to get more views on YouTube is through your content being suggested by YouTube. They say that 70% of all views on YouTube come through suggested videos. But this is after your notifications have been pushed out, after your subscribers have had a chance to look at it and any other factors that you've got going on to get more views on YouTube. Then it's up to YouTube to push your content out. So let's have a look at some of those different ways that the YouTube algorithm can obviously push your content out there. And the first way that you can get your um, video suggested is on the homepage of someone's YouTube account. So once they log on to YouTube on their homepage, they can go over there and they can have a look at if they, they can obviously push your video out there. So once they log in, they go, oh, okay, I haven't seen this video, who's this? And this comes through other people watching similar type of content, whether or not potentially they have watched your video before, liked your video, commented on your video, or quite simply, if you have two very good metrics, and the first one is in the first 24 to 48 hours, if your video has good views, and we're gonna talk about this if you're a new, if you're a new YouTuber, how to do that. So that's the first way. And the second way is watch time, guys. Watch time is really, really, really important. And the third way that I'm gonna talk about in a later video, so make sure you subscribe, is your click-through rate, okay, which is really important. And that's obviously when someone looks at your thumbnail, whether or not it stands out enough for someone to click onto it, okay? So they, they're the couple of factors that people look at. So that's the first way that your video can get suggested. The second way that your video can get suggested is if somebody's watching one of your videos and they scroll down here, there's a sidebar, okay, where different videos can pop up and these are suggested videos on the sidebar on the right hand side that people can look at once they finish watching your video or quite simply scrolling down if they don't want to watch any more of your videos they can just go over here and click on another video the third way that your video can get suggested is once they finish watching one of your videos you can see that another video will pop up in the suggested section that people can click onto to watch that next video so that's a third way that your video can get suggested the fourth way that your video can get suggested is quite simply on your mobile phone so if you're scrolling down and you're looking for different content okay and you're having a look youtube can push your content on mobile as well so they're the four different ways that your content can get suggested on YouTube and the algorithm is obviously liking your metrics and they're pushing your content out there. So it's important to understand the algorithm. It's important to understand what's going to help you help YouTube push your videos out there. The first thing you need to understand about the YouTube algorithm when you're first starting out is when you're creating your content as a brand new YouTuber or somebody with a small subscriber base, when you're creating your videos, my first tip for you is to create content that's very, very similar. Do not branch out too much and alter your content greatly because what's going to happen is, let's say you create your first video and you get your first you know, 20 subscribers, 15 subscribers and they watch your video and your video is about cooking and then the next day you make a video on something completely different that has no relevance to that a, they're not going to click on your thumbnails. B, they're going to drop off as soon as they jump on your video. So if you want to make content that's so related when you're first starting out. So if it's about cooking and you're talking about a Mediterranean diet and you're getting good subscribers and you can see that's working, then stick to that until you get a larger volume of subscribers so that you don't have to alter your content. This is ultimately going to help you grow your YouTube channel, but it's also going to help the YouTube algorithm to obviously promote your videos. And the more people that are watching your videos and the more signals you're sending to the YouTube algorithm that people are clicking on these videos, the more it's going to help YouTube promote your that video to other people that are interested in that content. So I cannot stress enough how important it is for you to stick to one particular topic, one particular niche when you're starting out do not variate too much from what's working because that is just going to hurt the algorithm and you're not going to grow as fast as you want. 
The second way that you can help the YouTube algorithm push your video out there is to have a look at different external factors that are going to bring in views to your YouTube channel, especially when you're growing and you don't have a lot of subscribers on YouTube where YouTube cannot obviously notify your subscribers. Okay, so what you want to do as soon as you post your brand new video is you want to share that video. And I've spoken about this on a previous video, but it's really, really important to get those external factors onto YouTube, okay, because this is going to tell the YouTube algorithm that your video is good quality, it's getting views externally, and it's going to help them push your video through suggested videos. So if you don't have a huge social media following, you can obviously go and join different Facebook groups, go on to Reddit and join different groups. You can also start to grow your own email list. There's a ton of tutorials on YouTube on how to grow your email list, and it's really, really important when you start promoting different things on your YouTube channel that you grow an email list because once you post your video, you can do an email blast, which I do a lot of, to your um, subscribers on your email list, which is ultimately going to send signals to the YouTube algorithm that your video is bringing people to the platform and that's going to help YouTube promote your video through browse and suggested videos. The third thing that you can do to help the YouTube algorithm push your content out there through suggested views is to download a couple of software programs that can help you. The first one that you can probably look at is something like vidIQ. This is something that you can get obviously onto your Chrome extension, which is free. And this is this tool that I've got here on the right hand side over here. And this basically can tell me how many views per hour I'm getting, okay, with the video. It can tell me how good my video did in the first day. It can tell me how good it did the second day, third day, etc. And if you scroll down, you can see here, these are your different tags that you can obviously utilize. Now, I'm going to do a video on keyword research down the track. So make sure, like I keep saying, that you subscribe for that video. But this is extremely important. And another thing that's really, really important is your title on any video, okay? So when you come over to your title is something that tells YouTube where they need to promote your video. And ultimately, the algorithm will find people that watch that type of content. So your title your obviously um, tags that you use and the description in the video is crucial to YouTube understanding where they need to promote your content, okay? And if you don't get this right, it's going to be extremely hard for the YouTube algorithm to find people to watch your video. If you don't have any of these, you're not telling the YouTube algorithm what viewership you're looking for. And ultimately as well, like I said in a previous point, that you don't want to variate too much from um, your content when you first start off because then you, the YouTube algorithm is struggling to find different viewers to the platform. And it, ultimately, if it's looking for the same viewers that you promoted to on the first video and the second video is completely different and YouTube shows your content to those viewers because they're your subscribers and they're dropping off really, really quickly, then what's going to happen is your views will drop dramatically and ultimately YouTube will stop promoting your video. So it's important that you get all the keywords that you want over here onto your description that you've got them over here. And this is only to tell YouTube where to push your video and your title is so important, okay? Really, really important to tell YouTube and tell the algorithm where to push your content. The next point that I wanna make is obviously with the keywords. Keywords is extremely important. So yes, the software like vidIQ and TubeBuddy is really, really important, but your keyword research is just as important. And what I recommend that you can do is you can go and search for different videos on YouTube similar to what you're going to try and rank for and have a look at how many people are ranking for those videos, how many subscribers you have. And if you find people that have 1,000 to 5,000 subscribers that are ranking for certain keywords, and I would definitely recommend using some of those keywords in your video okay because you can clearly see that a small subscriber has the ability to um, rank for those videos okay so that's a simple way to obviously get your videos to rank and to help the YouTube algorithm promote your video through suggested views now at the start of this video I told you that there was a couple of things that you, the YouTube algorithm looks at when it wants to promote your videos. One of them was obviously views, which we talked about a little bit now. But the second one now is watch time. And watch time is crucial because the less people watch your videos and the less time they spend on your platform, the less YouTube is going to promote your video. But there's a couple of things that you can do to help the YouTube algorithm promote your videos. Now, other than just the watch time and having great content and knowing what you're talking about, making sure that you're talking about the similar niche stuff that I spoke about so that more people are going to watch your video, there's a couple of other things that you can do to help YouTube 
promote obviously your video. And that is when you look at any one of these videos, let me just click onto this one over here. There's a few other things that you can do and I'm gonna show you exactly what they are now. And that is if somebody is not going to watch your current video or let's say they've only watched 50% of your current video, how are you going to get people to continue to stay on your channel and to stay on your platform? And there's a couple of things that you can do to do that. And one of those is if you come down here and you have a look at your um, comment section over here, if you scroll down, you can see that on my YouTube channel, I've got this where it shows you more YouTube videos to help you grow. And these are different videos that people can click onto so that they stay on the platform and they stay on YouTube. And this is ultimately going to send signals to YouTube that your content is still continuing to keep people on the YouTube platform, okay? The more people that watch your videos to the end and then they click onto um, your end screens, okay, is also gonna send signals to YouTube that this is good content and that people are watching a lot of your videos and they're clicking onto these different types of videos. Another thing that you can do on here as well is you can insert cards. So these cards ultimately when you're publishing your video at the end of your video you can select cards that you want to put on there and the more people that click onto these cards and continue to stay on YouTube this is going to send positive signals to YouTube and the algorithm to suggest your videos. Now a tip that I'm going to give you when it comes to inserting these tags you can see the first two tags I have on here just ask people to subscribe and the second one tells people to hit that like button which is another um, metric that's obviously going to help YouTube and help the alg algorithm tell YouTube that your videos are doing really really well but the tip I want to give you is don't put videos too early on in the in your video because then if somebody clicks off too early that is not really going to help your current video but you want to put it maybe as you come to the 60 70 percent mark of your video then you can start to add these different videos that they can click onto and they if they feel that they've had enough of your current video or they've had enough information if they click onto any one of these videos then what that's going to do is it's going to tell the youtube algorithm that people are still staying on your platform and another tip i'm going to give you when it comes to keeping people on your platform is instead of just putting single videos put some playlists in there and that's obviously going to keep people on your on your channel a lot longer all these signals are going to tell the YouTube algorithm that your content is great and it's keeping people on the platform. All this is going to help you push your videos and get more subscribers, get more views and get your videos out onto the suggested fields of the ones that we spoke about at the start of this video. Okay, guys, so ultimately this is going to help you understand the YouTube algorithm and obviously help you grow your YouTube channel. So that were my tips on helping you understand the YouTube algorithm in 2020 and ultimately how you're going to grow your YouTube channel. If you're looking to get your first 4,000 watch hours, make sure you check out this video that I've got popping up over here, guys. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell identification icon so that you don't miss out on any of the good stuff I post three times a week. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. I'm Alan from Smart Video Tactics. You guys stay safe and goodbye.